Hey Google, good morning. Okay, so smart homes, really, really cool. And I would assume to a lot of people also quite difficult and intimidating, more so that they would just rather flick a switch. And you know what, sometimes personally, me too. However, I am really, really excited in the future of where the smart home is going. Now, surprisingly, all of what I'm about to show you guys is really, really easy to set up, like you could just do it yourself. So without further ado, welcome to how Google controls my smart home. Now, I'm not sure if you guys will remember, but about a year ago, a company called Boxed came out, replaced my entire boiler with one that works with Nest Learning Thermostat. Now, this is a really cool device which allows you to control your heating wherever you are with an internet connection. Basically, this afternoon, Boxed are coming back out to my house to install some more smart home gear. So I'm gonna go undercover, see what they do, and then we'll tour the smart home. Hello, mate. Hello, how, how you doing? You? Hey, both of you, come in. <laughs> Welcome to my kitchen. The guys from Boxed have been and gone. They've installed the gear. Now, before we get into this, I do just want to say that the products that Boxed installed, that's all consumer level stuff, right? You could do it yourself. However, I think it's really, really cool that Boxed can come out, they can sort your boiler out, give you a smart boiler, as well as that, give you a way to interact with it, as well as give you some protect stuff as well. I think it's a really, really cool all round package. Now this is the Google Home app, and it's one of my favorite things about this entire ecosystem, and let me explain why. One press, you open the app, and you are displayed straight away, as you can see, with all of your devices. Remember, all of this, for me anyway, is about convenience. So one button click, and I've got access to my bathroom, bedroom, cinema, ensuite, garden, guest room, gym, hallway, kitchen, Every single room in my house is literally just a button click away. So as you can see, we've got the kitchen here. Now, another thing I like about the Google app is it groups all the lights together. Let's say you've bought a couple of smart lights. Let's say, for example, from Philips Hue and from LifeX, and you've got them in the same room. Well, to control those lights, you have to have two separate apps, the LifeX app and the Philips Hue app to control the lights. Well, not with the Google Home app because the Google Home app can talk to both at the same same time, group them all into one room, and then with one button click, you can turn off all of your lights in that room. So this here is my previous device, the Nest Hub, and I've got Nest Hubs in pretty much every single room in my house, which enables me to just do the voice commands wherever I am. Next to this, we've got the Nest Hub Max. This is basically the bigger version of this, and this is what Boxed installed for me. And it's a super, super cool device, because the more you're into the ecosystem and the more compatible devices you have, the cooler this thing gets. I can say things like, hey Google, set the lights to blue. And as you can see, in this room, because this device knows where it is, it's in the kitchen, it will change the kitchen lights to blue. Now obviously this is a huge touch screen as well, so I can go in here, I can click on lights, I can choose the room that I would like, and then I can go to color, and I can change them all back to a nice ice white. Now like I mentioned, the more products you've got, the cooler this gets, so I've got a huge 65 inch TV over there in the kitchen. Now that has a Chromecast plugged into it. Because this Nest Hub Max knows it's in the kitchen and it knows there's also a Chromecast in the kitchen, if I was to say, hey Google, play me videos of zebras, it will play those on the kitchen TV and boot it up because it knows there's a Chromecast in here. One of the other things I really like about this system as well is the fact that you can do what's called routines. And you saw this at the start of the video when I said, hey Google, good morning. When I say that command, basically a whole string of things happen, like my kettle turns on, the lights in here turn to a certain color, it turns on my computer upstairs, and it turns all of the set lights on in the office. You can do whatever you want. Honestly, it's just a blank canvas for your mind to kind of go wild, and that's why I really, really like this stuff. Hey Google, set the temperature to 22 degrees. Sure. 
Now, if you've been following me for half a year, you'll know that quite scarily, I almost burned down my house whilst charging some of my FPV drone batteries, their LiPo batteries. That really, really scared me, so I'm really excited for this next thing that Box installed, the Nest Protect smoke alarms. Now, these are super, super dope, smart connected smoke alarms. So that means if these things sound or go off, you're not gonna get just an annoying, really loud beep. You're actually gonna get a notification to your phone. They will tell you the level of smoke, whether it's rising, whether it's cleared, one here in the hallway, one in the upstairs hallway, and then the other one, well, it's actually in my pocket, but it says office because we're gonna put this thing in my office, and I'll explain why in a little while. Now, these smoke detectors test themselves a ridiculous amount of times per day, and they create their own mesh network to talk to each other. So this is what the app is like. Let's click on them, and you can go ahead and you can check every single smoke detector to make sure that everything is okay right down from the Wi-Fi connection all the way to the sensor. And in fact, I think you can do a test. Ready, in the office. Press to test. This is only a test. The alarm will sound. Ready, in the office. Okay, so Nest Protect smoke alarm installed up there in the office. Now this is a bag, a fireproof bag, full of my LiPo batteries. I'm now gonna charge them all in here on a tray right below that Nest Protect smoke alarm. So if any smoke happens to emit from these batteries, I will get, well, literally notified on my phone. Well, I'm gonna be charging my batteries here so I can actually keep monitor with them with this little Nest indoor camera. Now this is a super, super cool little lightweight camera that's powered via USB here and you can see live and get notifications from to your phone. So I can have my batteries on here charging and then should smoke be detected, I can then log on to this camera and see what's actually happening. Now I do have another assistant in the office and just like the assistants downstairs, you can talk to it and say things like, hey Google, turn off the lights. Hey Google, show me the office camera. Okay, streaming office. And there we go. I can see and check on my batteries from down here via this Google Nest Hub Max looking at that Nest Protect camera. Really, really cool stuff. Okay, so I think it's time to end this video talking about why. You know, what's the point? What I said at the start of the video, most people would just prefer to flick a switch. It's easy, but what it isn't is convenient. Let's say you've gone to town and you've left your heating on. Well, smart home, you can now turn your heating off via your phone. You can schedule it to turn back on for when you arrive home. You can turn the lights on or off via your phone. Literally everything is accessible. It's easy, it's convenient, and now with the help of Boxed adding all of the protect stuff for me, it's also secure as well. I could be the other side of the world and know if smoke is rising in my kitchen. If that isn't a smart home, I don't know what is. And that's my perfect segue to Boxed as well. For people that are just getting into this stuff, their service is stellar. They come round and do everything for you. It literally couldn't be easier. Last year they did my my smart boiler and gave me the Nest learning thermostat and this year they've come back giving me a way to interact with it via the Google Nest Hub Max and also giving me some protect stuff to make sure I can both see and well know if there's smoke or CO2 rising in my home which would obviously be bad and it's all push notifications to your phone really really cool I'll drop all box links in the description but for now that's been how Google controls my smart home and yeah I'll see you in the next one guys Peace. The test starts in 10 seconds. Hello from Nest. Press to cancel. Ready. Test to test. <laughs> We're outside with it. <laughs> Six, five, four, three, two, one.